your bluegrass bushcraft. It is a cold, crisp day here in Kentucky. It's nice out other than being cold. I mean, there's no rain for a change. I like that. Anyway, my last video I tried to make a Cusca, which was a total fail. Came out way too small, turned into a scoop. So you can't say fail, I mean it turned into something. Stayed with it. But uh finally made me a Cusca. Alright. Didn't videotape it because it's uh, basically the same as the last video. Just took a little longer, a little bigger project. But I finally got it done. A whole lot of sanding, let me tell you. I'm, I'm a rough carver. And I was debating whether to uh, try some wood burning on it. I don't have a lot of wood burning experience. So I was kind of hesitant. And I uh, was talking with Dream Creation and Adventure channel. And I got some advice and uh, watched one of their videos on beginning of wood burning. And uh, she sent me over to uh, my buddy Old School Modern Twist over to James's channel. He had some really great wood burning videos I hadn't watched yet. I watched a few of those. And uh, they both said, uh, get some really good informative videos. But they both said practice on the scrap piece of wood first. Uh, Here's a piece that I had from my Cusca left over. Got some cracks in it I cut out. I practiced a little bit on it, but sorry guys, I'm not a whole lot on practice and I like to just get in on, get with it. So, uh, that's just the way I am. All right, they talked about um, using uh, transfer paper, carbon paper, etc putting your pattern on wood but I didn't have any of that and I didn't want to go to the store this is a this is a stay at home weekend I don't want to go anywhere I'm just going to hang around but uh so I looked around my shop and I found these stencils from my scroll saw patterns so a lot of different several different leaves on there and uh I'm not going to do a whole lot of detail on this I'm just going to trace out these stencils with a wood burner won't do no shading in or anything like that I'm not, I'm not ready for that step yet I'm gonna be lucky to be able to burn these leaves in here without messing it up so, uh, let's uh, get with it no I don't need safety glasses for uh, wood burning I wouldn't think but these are not just safety glasses. These are my magnifying safety glasses and I can't see any more. All right, James. Please don't fuss at me for using the wrong tip. I don't have a whole lot to choose from and the ones that I did have, I. I put different ones on and, and practiced a little bit with different tips and I just found one that I'm more comfortable with so I'm going with it. Sorry if I get out of the screen a little bit, I'm trying to do this three-handed, trying not to lift the camera. kind of in my way. Okay, my first set of leaves. Not perfect. Not exactly like stencil. I don't have a steady hand. But um, hey, I've never seen two leaves alike. Have you?
All right, there it is so far. Not perfect. Held my tip a little, got caught in the wood grain there and burned in a little too deep, but uh, messed that one up a little bit, but it's not bad. My first one, I'm not gonna complain. I'm far from perfect, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera off now and I'm gonna finish this off camera so I can get in a more comfortable position. I mean, it's kind of hard to try to hold this in the angle of the camera. So I'm gonna try to lay it down somewhere. If I can find a better way to angle the camera while I'm working, I'll, I may do that. But uh, I'll be back with a little more update later. All right, got the um, Cusca finished, and this is what I'll be using on it, is this uh, Butcher's Block Conditioner. It's a food grade mineral oil with uh, natural wax on tight again. Anyway, I've used this on my spoons, and uh, I really like the way it turned out on this wild cherry. So uh, we're gonna use it on the Cusca. It's not perfect by any means, but uh, it is handmade, hand carved. Now you, when I say hand carved, don't get me wrong. I mean I did carve it by hand, and uh, but I did a whole lot of sanding with the electric sander. So I mean that that helped it a lot. So uh, not just to let my electric sander, but I used my drill press with uh, some sanding disc attached to it. So. Uh, Still need some more sanding, but as far as I'm gonna go with it. All right, let's see what this stuff's gonna look like on here. It says on this stuff to apply it warm. So let it penetrate better into the wood. I had it laying on my heat register for a little bit, warmed it up some, probably could have been a little warmer. to apply this stuff let it sit for 20 so minutes wipe off the excess and buff it out Yeah, it's looking nice. Sorry about that. Put this stuff on here thick because it's the first coat and it's going to soak in. Let it dry about 20 minutes. Wipe her down, give her a little buffing. Just hand buffing with the paper towel. No machinery. Give it another coat. Maybe give it three or four coats. Now 
you can see right here in the handle I got a got some cracking in that handle that was the end near the um, end of the log before I cut it I cut this end off got all the cracking out of it but I mean it had my piece of wood wasn't long enough to uh, get the rest of that out and still have any kind of a handle so you all see the rest of the story there don't think that it'll crack anymore hopefully it won't I have one more hairline crack right in here can you see the little dark spot there it kind of looks like the wood grain that's that's uh, top of it there what I done was I um, stuffed it with wood glue right down into the crack as much as I could get in it and I took some real fine uh, sanding dust from the same wood and just crammed it right up into that crack and uh, let it dry sanded it down that pretty much sealed that one I should have should have done these the same way I don't know why I didn't but oh well it is what it is think and I love this wood grain right here that kind of looks like a crack but it's not that's that is the actual wood grain it's from a red to a reddish brown to lighter brown beautiful it should have been like that all over a beautiful grain like I said I'm not sure exactly what kind of wood this is some kind of a flower and ornamental tree kind of look like a cherry uh, but honestly I don't know it never did bear any fruit it just just bloomed in the summer but, uh, for some reason they cut it down it got too big or something all right, let this dry and call it an end. All right, y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe.